If you're going to be using Gubrick, you will need to create a rubric for your assignment that matches the format that they want. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this. If you go into the your Google Classroom folder, I like to go into the Google class that this assignment is in, which is this case is Demo Class 1. And here is the assignment for Test Kubrick. And here's my fake assignment right here that I have already given to the students. So to create the rubric, I want to do a new spreadsheet. And what I want to do first is name it the same thing as the assignment, but I always add the word rubric afterwards to make sure it's clear that this is the rubric. And so the Gubrick assignment has the traditional uh, rows across the top and columns down the left side, but it's important that the cell A1 is left empty. So I'm just going to quickly make a very simple rubric and show you what it looks like. So here's a very simple rubric. It certainly isn't something you would really want to use with students, but you get the um, idea. The numeric scores go across the top, and the categories go in the first column on the left-hand side, making sure that the first cell in column A is empty. So now if I want to use this rubric, I can click on Add Gubric or Change Gubric. And then I can see ones that I've used recently, or I can click on My Drive and click, and I will add a spreadsheet. It will automatically search your Google Drive for recent spreadsheets. And here is my fake assignment rubric that was created right here. And I will select that and attach it. So now I can then continue grading the Gubrick rubric. After it opens, I click on the Gubrick icon which then overlays the rubric that I created. And I give it a score, content, grammar, organization, fluency. You can give partial grades. So if I think it's between a two and a three, I can type in 2.5 and it will highlight both the two and the three. I can type in my comments here and I can create an audio recording. When I'm done, I click Submit or Next, and it's ready for the student to view, just as I had done before.